So there's a song from the Beatles, All the Lonely People. The refrain is, Ah, look at all the lonely people. Do 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 do. Ah, look at all the lonely people. You know, I have to say, I've been in New York, I've been in D.C. for all my priestly ministry, and there's a lot of lonely people in these very busy towns surrounded by people. It seems like they wouldn't be lonely, but they are. There's an emptiness, there's a sadness. I think loneliness and sadness kind of go together. And those who have Christ as their friend are not lonely. They may live in solitude, but they know he walks with them. He knows They know he's with them every step of the way, you know? I'm here in Georgetown, I'm about to go for a run. I know that Christ is with me. He was in the car ride on the way down. I didn't need to have the radio on. I just was talking to him. In today's gospel, we read on the road to Emmaus how Jesus walked with the disciples. You know, how he was physically with them, walking along. So it's so important to remember that, that Christ accompanies us 24-7. He said, I will be with you always until the end of time. He promised his fidelity to us. He also reminded the apostles, was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer before entering into his glory? I think that's so important that we are called to suffer. You know, we are called to go through adversity. There's no Easter Sunday without Good Friday. It's not just going to happen. It's not guaranteed. So to embrace the cross with love, to see the cross as an opportunity to change the narrative, to not get depressed with physical, mental, you know, even relationship suffering, but to embrace that as a chance to really grow deep in your love for God, grow deep in your love for others, stretch your heart a little bit. You know, we need to embrace the challenges that God allows. So reject loneliness, embrace Christ as a friend, and you will find joy. God bless you.